What's up guys? So what you just witnessed was the drone shots of this abandoned amusement theme park. Um, here's this, looks like the sign perhaps? Or maybe it points to the exit, I'm not really sure. But this is where it all starts. The rides are right there, you can see a few of them. Um, I'm joined again with my friend Brock from Brock in the World. Check out his YouTube channel, he explores a lot of places and travels a lot. He's been on his own little adventure as well. It feels really apocalyptic right now. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's far from the city and it's like just full of trees. Looks like this might have been a restaurant. Um, here's the main gate. Everyone's just completely overtaken by nature. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go inside the park. We got VIP right now. I can hear animals off in the distance. But this was pretty much the view of the theme park. It looks really, it's pretty small, but it's actually pretty beautiful too. And it seems like some of the water rides were over here, including maybe a pool. Start from here, go around, and head this way. Yeah, sounds good. Um, but you can see the sign right there, it says Encore. That was the name of the place. So we got the names of both sides of the park. This was Funland. And the next one is Goat Paradise. No idea why they would call it Goat Paradise. Maybe there's a goat theme park. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. It's weird. Yeah, we'll find out soon. Let's gonna go to Funland first. Yeah. Let's have some fun first. Oh, the look. There's also a tea village and waltzing water. I'm not sure what that is. Do you know what that is? Waltzing water is like waltz is like a dance. Oh, okay. Okay. So rumor has it is that that this park closed down suddenly due to an accident on one of the huge big ferris wheels. You guys, there's not really much backstory to this place. Apparently, it might have been abandoned and closed down in 1999 when there was a huge earthquake around the area here in Taichung, uh, Taiwan. Um, that's all I can read up on it online. But I'm gonna link you guys an article you guys can read up on all about it. It's gonna say all about the history about the place. So yeah, just go check out the description links. Yes, this place has been abandoned for at least um, 17 years, pretty quick, how nature just like, taking over it. Oh, there's fruits growing on these trees. Here's one of the rides, I guess. This place kind of reminds me of Nara Dreamland, but a smaller version. I think this theme park mainly attracted like children between like 10 to 15 years old. Plus the rides here are kind of small. His own little go kart arena. Pretty interesting looking ride. It's uh, one of those boat rides that goes rocking back and forth. For some reason, this theme park has like a chicken theme to it. I feel like this must have been like a waiting area. I think someone had to pick up people. Because off in a distance behind the trees, I can see like another ride that they would probably go to. I mean, the area is located in a nice place. I could just imagine how it would look like back then. It's such an incredible, beautiful view. And I'm sure like some of the trees weren't like this. You'd be able to see like more of the park as well. This is like the bridge to Terabithia. Yeah. So I feel like it's like where it's leading us to like a magical world. I bet this used to be overflowed with water. Must have looked really nice, like little waterfalls kind of. Yeah, I feel like this was like just um, a river almost or like a water cascading on those walls right there because it's just filled with water. It would make sense though. Yeah, it's probably really cool. Oh, people can go down actually because there's some steps right there. Yeah. Yeah, and look, there's a little tree for it almost. The bridge is like almost destroyed. The plant that they were growing in there, I wonder if it was this thing because this is like a giant planter. I feel like this could have been like a fountain. Yeah, it could have been. That's probably right. And as you can see, there was a path, but now it's gone. Looks like they had some lights lit up around this street. Oh, look, there's like an auditorium, like a stadium. Seriously? <laughs> that thing's big. And here's a stone tablet. 
If anyone knows what it says, please leave a comment down below with a translation. So you can see what's up ahead. It's the waltzing water and the old banyan area. We have seen the biggest spider of our lives. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I would not want to run into that web. I think it fucking eat me. Now I don't even want to go to the woods, but look how big that is. It's like the size of- Here's a good close up. It's all black and white. Oh, that thing looks gross. Wow. About this place is really magical. The old banyan. I wonder what banyan means. These trees do look different. No? Banyan trees overgrow other trees and then eat them slowly. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it. Well, it looks like it was another stadium that would hold some type of show. The water is now filthy green. You can't even get down there really. I'm really liking the design of the place. Western Roman feel to it. it. Seems to be like a dead end. It says the Phoenix and Dragon Slope, which leads to the family garden we were just at in the beginning. They probably took something to get back down from here. These toads sound like, like, I don't know, lions. <laughs> They're like growling the statues in this area gives it a really cool feel it seems like there was a fountain right there too they're playing instruments they look like angels they're all doing different poses they're all, they all have instruments too yeah yeah i know it is so we could not find the tree fort, but we found some other cool stuff instead. Um, we're gonna go check the other side now of Funland, and then we're gonna kind of wrap up the day. This place is just filled with bugs. We're back here again, so we're gonna take a look at Goat Paradise and see what's so goat about it. So we need to go to Goat Paradise, whatever that is. Where all the goats die. <laughs> they go to Goat Paradise. All goats go to Goat Paradise. Wow. This building is really big. Yeah. I think I want to see what's over here first before exploring inside. Oh. I think this might have been a little zoo inside here. But there also seems to be a restaurant. People would probably buy their tickets on the. Oh, yeah, it is a restaurant. They serve hot cappuccino. Turn around, turn around. Make sure it's not on you. Yeah, you got nothing. You're good. Right. Holy shit. Okay, dude. So, play by play. Quick play by play. I was walking in that, that room. Yeah. Looked like kids' stuff in there. Uh huh. And it was really dead quiet. Yeah. So, I was like looking at the window. There's like vines all over growing it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I hear this like scurrying above me. Like, uh -huh. like this loud like sound of going on above me. And then I looked up and I see fucking tarantulas oh running around oh my and as I start running away I hear them right above my head like running with me like no running joke. with you like a like after you yeah there must have been like a few of them jeez I don't want to enter inside here actually now that I heard that oh my god like, he said run 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 and I was like okay I'm running I'm running I don't know what I'm running for but holy shit I don't want to find out <sighs> that's Whoa. scary we're not exploring this building for sure um, I don't want to deal with tarantulas I don't know if they attack people, but I don't, I just hate tarantulas and big spiders, so I'm not even gonna bother. Brock could be right. He was saying how like maybe this theme park had tarantulas kept in like the zoo area and they were left abandoned. Now they're just like wandering in the area. Brock is gonna get some footage. 
Definitely subscribe to Brock. Brock is definitely one of the true explorers I've ever seen. Uh, go subscribe to him. He has he has a lot of guts. <laughs> I think the tarantulas ate the goats. That's why there's no goats That's here. Why there's no more goats. Damn. <laughs> no. Really, there's eggs. Yeah. Yikes. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Our taxi driver called us and that's why we have to leave. But we pretty much explored throughout the area. At the day after tomorrow, I leave Taiwan and I head back to Japan. Okay, peace out guys.